One thing I feel like I always have to explain is why I love this stupid dumb blue hedgehog. Growing up, I was given a hand-me-down Dreamcast as a gift from my dad and uncle. There was a variety of games, but there were certain ones that always stuck out to me. That being the Sonic franchise. There was one I always connected to the most though, and that was Sonic Adventure 2. Weirdly enough, I actually played and enjoyed Adventure 2 far more than its predecessor, probably because I was a stupid kid and couldn't figure out how the hot worlds worked. I would play SA2 as much as I could. I remember always trying to get better records on City Escape, jamming out to the music while doing so, or spending an ungodly amount of time playing and getting way too attached to my chow. I absolutely loved that the game was formatted in such a way that every character had their own rival and that everyone had their own chance to shine. Looking back, it was pretty amazing that I was taught at such a young age that there's a lot of gray area in good and evil. And I'm very glad that instead of sacrificing baby dinosaurs and eating mushrooms, I was taught proper lessons and introduced to some cool ass characters. Going into elementary, I was basically considered weird to normal girls. Instead of playing with Barbies and dolls, I always talked about video games and hung out with boys instead. At times, I even felt like I was looked in a different light to the boys too, just because I was a girl. And whenever I would bring up my love for this blue hedgehog and its lovable franchise, I felt like I was an outcast because everyone liked and preferred his Italian rival. Eventually, I would tell myself just not to bring up Sonic because the games were bad and that the characters I grew up loving and relating to were weird. I actually continued to feel this way until probably a year and a half ago. That was until I saw the movie and then remembered a certain game and all the memories that came with it. I want you to imagine this first memory that did come back to me. I was hanging out with my uncle and we were watching TV. I was probably five or six around this time, but I was instantly intrigued in this video. The video started out with whistling and the flicking of a ring. Until... <laughs> Now, imagine being me in this situation, a bright-eyed kid seeing her favorite character on TV. It was so surreal. Honestly, I was excited more for Sonic than the transformation at the time. Keep in mind, this is when Twilight was at its peak and I wasn't absolutely flabbergasted at the idea of a weird werewolf Sonic. Now, like I mentioned earlier, Unleashed wasn't my first Sonic game. However, the only Sonic games I had played growing up were on the Dreamcast, so I never, and still haven't, experienced 06. So for me, I had a giant jump in the franchise. Going all the way from the adventure games and Shuffle, yes I played Shuffle instead of Mario Party growing up we were too broke to afford a GameCube, to Unleashed. Following seeing this trailer, I obviously eventually saw the following trailers, but whenever I think about certain songs from this game, I genuinely get emotional. The song that affects me the most is Whenever I hear that beginning guitar riff, I instantly get flooded with so many memories. Coming back from school and doing nothing but playing levels and interacting in the hub worlds, to loving Chip and all the goofy actions he did in the cutscenes. Every level just had so much personality. Yes, I'm including the Werehog stages. Even as a kid, I could tell so much love was poured into this game. I'm also glad they told a proper story and they weren't afraid to get dark once in a while. Believe it or not, kids are actually pretty smart and don't like being treated like idiots. It's so apparent that the people that worked on this game were so genuinely passionate about Sonic and wanted him to do good. Sure, there's a weird spin to it all, that being the werehog, but I think that's okay. The best way I'd describe Unleash is that it's less so a game and more so an experience. You get to travel all over the world, see all these different cultures and people, and you literally bring it back together. But. There's just something about endless possibilities that just encompasses the entirety of what the Sonic franchise is. It talks about how it's okay to doubt yourself and how you should always try your best to stay positive. Literally in the beginning of the song, the first lyric is, this is my escape. And I think Sonic is that for a lot of people. Being able to have an escape from the real world. 
and how you can experience and feel so much just from a simple video game. I know that not many people are huge fans of Unleashed, or even Sonic for that matter, but that's okay. I definitely know it's not for everyone, but there's something about it that'll hold forever close to my heart. I don't know if it's because I played it in my most formative years, or that I wasn't treated like an idiot in the game. Hell, I even like the Warhog stages. I just love how every little part of this game just oozes atmosphere and love. Love. The exact word I would use to describe the series. Not just because I love this fast blue hedgehog and all of his friends, but so many others do too. And with the movie sparking so many old fans' hearts again, I'm so hopeful and optimistic for the stupid ball of quills future. I know that might be naive given the video game's track records, but I don't care. While the Sonic fanbase is insane and can never agree on anything, I think everyone can agree that we love Sonic. And this hedgehog has brought so many of us together and given so many memories to look back on. And with that, never forget possibilities are endless and always make sure to reach for the stars. And this, my friends, is why I love Sonic. 